Hello and welcome to this week's edition of The Travel Show with John Gwynn on UKHealthRadio.com. I'm in a very noisy studio. I've got a computer that's gone into overdrive and the fan's gone crazy. I've got roadworks outside the studio, so you can probably hear that too. I can't have the air conditioning on because it's too noisy, so I'm very hot and there's a lot of noise. But it doesn't matter because I'm looking forward to this week's show because I'm getting to rant again and also doing some travel news, but hopefully you'll enjoy the news and my ranting. I'm not always grumpy, I just seem to get more grumpy this time of year when it gets very warm. If you're one of those people who's looking to rent out the property through Airbnb, well hold on before you sign the paperwork because I've got a story that may put you off. It may not, you might find it exciting. What do I know? But anyway, don't make an Airbnb decision with your property until after the news story later in the show. But first of all, I'm going to rant. If you follow my blog, johngwin.me, you've probably already seen this rant, but if you haven't, well, let's get on with it. Last week, there was a new consumer expert on ITV, uh, the UK uh, TV station. The guy was on Lorraine, which is a post-breakfast before mid-morning show, if you've never seen it, and... I'm not sure who this expert was meant to be. Some guy called Ravi. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I didn't know who the presenter was either. I don't watch this program. I'm normally busy. I only came across it because not long after this guy had spoken, the social media with travel agents involved went a bit crazy with people going on, what is this guy talking about? So I watched it on ITV Plus One to, uh, to find out. I had to actually Google the... Uh, the standing presenter. Apparently she's uh, Lisa Snowden, who's one of UK's best loved TV presenters. But I'm not one of the show's demographics, and I've no idea who she is. I just know Lorraine, but she's been on TV forever, so I think everybody does. Anyway, the travel agents were upset, and you should never do that, because they can be like union officials at times. They are always trying to save their jobs, and heavily criticise those in the media who advise viewers, listeners, readers to book holidays without using a travel agent. So even before Ravi had finished, a few took to Travel Gossip, which is a travel industry Facebook page, to share the dismay of the uh, Ravi's lack of travel industry knowledge. OK, I did throw in a throwaway line as well before I'd even sh- seen the uh, the show, but I just wanted to join in, you know, mob mentality. But anyway, it's, the feature was called Ravi's Summer Savers. And to be honest, it wasn't all bad. The start was about travel insurance. And yes, it was good that he advised viewers to ensure that they had travel insurance. He also did also say that people should check if they had insurance with their bank account so they didn't have to double up on insurance. I'm guessing he was implying that double up was a bad idea. But as far as I'm concerned, yes, do check to see if you already had cover, but not just to save money you need to check the small print to see if you're covered for actually where you want to go and what you want to see and what you want to do. Ravi did mention the e-hit card and uh, Snowden did imply that it gave people free medical treatment and Ravi was good because he did mention it doesn't. Uh, But he should have said that it doesn't replace travel insurance. It was the saving money on booking holidays that really upset the travel agents. Recently, I'm sure you're aware because I've gone on about it enough, a large travel company ceased trading. It was based in the Balearics in Spain, so it didn't have the bonding that UK-based companies have to offer to protect the customer's money. Thousands of people lost their money over this. So, now just a few weeks after this happened, a TV expert was advising people to book in a way that offered limited financial protection, if any. Absolutely brilliant. To save money, Ravi advised people to book holidays and accommodations separately, so there's no atoll, no ABTA, no package holiday protection, maybe not even any trust accounts. I do have to admit that when I travel, I do book this way, but I know the risks and I know the extra expense and effort that may come my way if something goes wrong. But don't tell people to book this way if they're not if you're not going to give them the heads up of the possible problems that may come their way. It's not rocket science. If you're a consumer expert on TV, just after loads of your viewers have lost their money or holiday, don't tell people to ignore the protection that's available to them if they book a package holiday. 
He then listed some websites and tips, such as change your days to save money and get to indirect flights. Indirect flights, yes, can save you an awful lot of money in principle. But how long is the wait between flights? How much do you think you're going to spend hanging around the airport, buying expensive airport drinks, buying expensive airport food? So don't just think, oh yes, I'll save 50 quid here by doing this. You may quite easily spend that before you even get back on the second plane. Ravi did eventually suggest booking a package, but only because of the deals, not because of the consumer protection. And again, he listed websites that may have have deals on at the moment. On the Beach does offer financial protection as they're an online travel agency. Last Minute does offer financial protection as it is an online travel agency. Travel Zoo is a listing site. Ravi should have advised viewers to check the booking terms and conditions for wherever Travel Zoo sent them. He went on about spending money, but wasn't only really advice, it was just a, another chance to list some products he's found. He then moved on to car parking. Ravi listed a couple of car, uh, websites where cheap car parking can be found. And he was going on about using uh, private driveways. No mention of checking insurance to see if uh, your car, if the car owner is covered or if the person providing the uh, parking is insured. And also, Snowden did mention that it would be worthwhile parking so you'd be close to the airport. But Ravi dismissed this by saying that walking is involved with, with on airport uh, on airport parking. But yes, when it's on airport parking or close, there's usually a free bus from the car park to the terminal building. So. Here we go again, ropey travel, travel consumer advice from a TV expert, but I'll give Ravi a D plus. A few good points mixed with lots of poor advice. It appeared rushed, maybe it was, and when it comes to giving advice on TV, less is more. Don't ram everything in. If you haven't got time for everything, just do one thing, but do it properly. So hopefully Ravi will focus on just one or two topics next time and provide more detailed advice. But he won't, because these people never do. But anyway, on, on the back of this, I started a UK government petition. The petition is to amend Consumer Protection Act 1987 to include advice given by consumer experts. I then go on to sound the petition. Advice given by travel consumer experts in the media is always minimal. So much information is omitted that if anybody follows this advice, they may suffer financial losses. The CPA in 1987 should be amended to force these experts to explain what risks are involved in following their suggestions. I then list uh, Ravi as an example of somebody who didn't get the job done right. So, whenever I give you a consumer advice on the show, I always have time for everything. I make sure everything's covered, pluses and minuses. I want everybody else to do that too, because my biggest concern is how you save your money, how you protect your money and how you protect your holiday. So please, if you're based in the UK, do, ser- uh, do sign this petition. It's at petition.parliament.uk forward slash petitions forward slash 164728. But there will be a link at facebook.com slash John Gwynn Travel Show. So you can sign it from that link there. I hope plenty of people are signed. The whole idea is not to get 100,000 signatures so it can be ignored in government, but to raise awareness of how poor these experts are in giving proper consumer advice you're listening to the travel show with john Gwynn on ukhealthradio.com it's okay everybody i've calmed down now all nice and mellow i got the rant out of the way at the beginning and now let's just concentrate on travel news and travel tips i'm starting off with news about london luton airport the number of passengers using luton airport has passed 1.5 million in july which is an increase of 15.4 percent on the previous year the latest passenger fig, uh, numbers highlight the rapidly rising demand for air travel across the southeast, and in response, the airport is currently investing £110 million to transform the airport and increase capacity by 50% to 18 million passengers per year by 2020. Construction for the product, uh, project is well underway with a new dual carriageway access road and multi uh, story car park due to open this autumn. It definitely needs the dual carriage access road because there's been an awful lot of problems there i have mentioned before it's a bottleneck and people have missed flights because they've been stuck on the last 
half a mile of single carriageway. And um, the airport is advising people and they have taken all sorts of th- actions to try and solve the problem, such as reduce the free parking at the medium stay car park from 30 minutes to 15 and then giving two hours free car parking at the long stay. So if you're dropping somebody off, you can go to the long stay car park, park up, get on the bus with them, get them to the terminal, have a cup of coffee, get back on the bus and come back, all for nothing. Or, of course, you could just sit panicking in the approach road traffic with everybody else, getting hot and sticky, and then pay three pounds to drop the person off. It's up to you. And also, uh, there's been plans have been confirmed for a £200 million light rail link, but to replace the current shuttle bus service between Luton Airport Parkway and the terminal. And once complete, the journey from St Pancras to the terminal door would take less than 30 minutes. And this apparently will bring the Luton Airport closer to central London than Gatwick and Stansted. As well as the free parking at the uh, long-term car park, there's now longer Wi-Fi service, and they've installed device charging points around the terminal. And I have seen these, and they are getting quite a lot of use at the moment, but they look very handy. Some more advice, this time from the uh, the Foreign Commonwealth Office. Apparently, over 21,000 British passports are lost or stolen. And uh, last year, this included 72 in Bulgaria, which seems a weird number. The Foreign Office is uh, urging British nationals to be passport aware and to keep their passports safe from thieves with uh, the new new campaign called Passport Hustle. Summer's in now full swing and as Brits are uh, jetting off to their holidays and enjoy their mostly trouble-free trips. However, valuable holiday time and money can be lost if a passport is lost or stolen as the victim may need to report the theft to the police as well as spend time at the local consulate or embassy so that they are issued with an emergency travel document, or ETD. Consulates around the world issued over 30,000 ETDs last year and assisted distressed British nationals who have been victims of crime. To raise awareness of uh, passport hustling techniques and to educate the public on how to avoid this crime, the FCO has produced a a series of short films with fraud and stealth crime expert James Friedman. These videos show a further four techniques from a previous campaign that thieves used to steal passports as well as tips on how to avoid being a problem. A victim, even. Uh, A Foreign Commonwealth Office Minister, Tobus Elwood, MP, said, While we all enjoy our holidays, it is important that we remain vigilant about valuables, particularly passports.